So how can you perform classification using an algorithm like k nearest neighbor which is an algorithm that is very easy to implement. Folks Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. In this video I am going to introduce to you another classification algorithm called k nearest neighbor. So basically I am going to give you an intuition behind this algorithm and here in this video you will see how can we classify a new data point or instance when it is in a close proximity of different classes around it. KNN is such an algorithm which is easy uh, to you know implement and uh, in its uh, you know most basic form and can perform quite complex classification tasks. In this video we will be taking a step by step approach to understand this algorithm. So watch this video till the end to get the complete details. If you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. GitHub link for all the required Jupyter notebooks is given in the description section as well as at the end of the video. Please don't forget to like and share as well. So just like logistic regression and support vector machines, k nearest neighbor is a supervised machine learning algorithm which is used to solve the classification model problems. For the remainder of the video, I will be uh, referring the k nearest neighbor as knn. So the knn algorithm takes an assumption that uh, similar things or data points exist in close proximity. In other words, similar things or data points are near to each other. Look at this image which shows that majority of the time similar data points are close to each other. This algorithm is considered as a lazy learning algorithm because it doesn't have any specialized uh, training phase. Actually it makes use of all the data for training while classifying a new data point. In this video we will be taking a step by step approach to understand this algorithm. So consider we have two classes of observations uh, depicted by black and orange data points in the two dimensional space. Classes are categorized based on these uh, two features or variables called as feature 1 and feature 2. Now let's say we encountered a new data point and our task is to classify this new data point that is whether it is going to uh, belong to black class or orange class or in other words whether this data point is going to be black or orange. So we will use a k nearest neighbor or knn algorithm in order to determine that. And here is the step by step approach we will take to classify this new data point. Here I will refer my new data point as x. Step 1 choose the number of neighbors represented by k of data point x. So k here represents the number of neighbors this new data point x can have. This can be any value based on your business requirement that is it can be 2, 3, 4, 5 or even 6 or even more. Step 2 calculate the distance of point x from all the other uh, points and identify k nearest data points with least distance to point x. Now this distance from data point x to all other data points can be calculated using Euclidean, Manhattan or cosine methods. But the most widely used one is Euclidean so we will be using it in our case also. Here is how uh, we calculate the Euclidean distance. So this is something uh, which we have already learnt in our high school geometry. If you carefully see uh, this image you will be able to figure out that it's nothing but a right angle triangle and the side for which we are trying to identify the distance is nothing but hypotenuse. Data point A has coordinates uh, x1 and y1 and data point B has coordinates x2 and y2. So the distance between these two data points can be calculated using the formula which is d equals to square root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. Step 3. Count the number of data points falling in each class from the given k neighbors. Here we try to find out how many data points are associated uh, with class 1 and how many data points are associated with class 2. Or if in case you have a third class then how many data points uh, are associated with third class from the given set of k neighbors. Step 4. Assign the data point x to the class having most neighbors. In this step you just need to assign uh, this new data point x to the class where the count of the neighbor is more. So let's see it in action now. So we had our black and orange uh, classes in the two dimensional space. Uh, now we have this uh, new observation and how can we identify its neighbors now? 
so as a part of step one we will first choose the value of k so let's say we choose the value of k as 5 in step two we have to calculate the distance of point x from all other data points and identify five nearest data points with least distance to point x so in our case these are those five neighbors or points or data points in step three we have to count the number of data points falling in each class from the given five neighbors and in our case as we can see black class has two neighbors and uh, class orange has three neighbors let's move on to the step four where we need to assign the data point x to the class having most neighbors so as we can see clearly orange class has more neighbors therefore we need to assign uh, data point x to the orange class only and this is the way data points uh, you know gets classified using knn algorithm isn't it easy enough indeed it is so folks this is it for this video in the next upcoming video i will cover various other classification algorithms like naive bayes uh, decision trees uh, random forest for classification purpose so stay tuned now here is today's question which of the uh, following ways of calculating distance are you aware of euclidean manhattan or cosine please post your answers comments in the comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also post your technical questions in the comment section and i will try to answer the same if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button in case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever i will release a new video so thanks for hanging out with me guys i will be covering next topic in the upcoming video so keep on watching thank you